Hello everyone. I have uh, I'm Rashmi Banjari and today I've got three of my students. I've got Krishna Prasad, Hi. Ajit and uh, Ravi. Ravi. So you know what? They've all cleared SAP labs. So this is a huge thing because we had five students clearing SAP and today I'm going to interview the three of these and they're going to share their tips and uh, about how to uh, how they cracked SAP so that it's helpful for you all. So tell me how, how what was the round first thing? The, what was the eligibility? Eligibility, eligibility was 7 CGPA and more. Uh -huh. But when we go there they were checking our resume that we uh, we are scored more or not because this is an M-Tech opportunity where we have to score 7 CGPA and more in M-Tech. Right. So right. they are looking at our marks. Because you get well. an opportunity to do an M-Tech with M-Tech okay, yes. with bits. So right. they are checking at our marks also. Alright. So, so what was the were, first round? There were yeah. 4 rounds. First one was technical online round. Then uh -huh. 3 rounds of interviews. Okay. So in first technical round. Technical only online, no online, apt. Online. No apt, but only technical questions. There were 15 MCQ questions and two programming questions. All right. In technical MCQ questions, they were asked more on data structures, database management systems, uh -huh. and then few code snippets were given. We have to tick the right output and all. Then can you give an example uh, of the MCQs? Any question? Anyone? Anyone remember something? Something. Yeah, it was like a code snippet will be given. We have to tick the output. Uh -huh. uh, programs are on C or C++ language. Okay. So they usually work on C or C++ mostly. Uh -huh. So programs are on C and C++. All right. So C and C++ students are thorough with it or do you think oh, it's only the basics? No, we were, huh? I don't know much about C++ but uh -huh. I know the, pro I understood the programming logic and I guessed the answers, okay. most, of the, most of the answers. Uh -huh. Then there were two programming questions. First one was, uh, first question was appeared in previous year also. So it was to find the largest uh, substring which is palindrome. Alright, yeah. just to stop you once, uh, how did you get the qu previous year's question paper? It was mentioned in Geeks for Geeks side. Oh, Geek, Geek for Geeks. Uh, Geeks for Geeks. So you get all the uh, old yeah. question papers in we that? We get the yeah. interview experiences basically. All right. So all it right. was mentioned in that question paper, so I was doing huh. that program. The uh, second one was date, time, date and time was given with the date, uh, date, month and year like that and we have to sort that date time mm -hmm. and we have to return the sorted list mm -hmm. that was the first round all then right. second interview all right yeah. so uh, how long was the apt it was uh, one and a half hour 90 minutes. 90 minutes 90 minutes 90 minutes yes. all right then actually yeah. you can refer glassdoor for the previous year experiences of interviews and or glassdoor glassdoor yeah, yeah that's a very common uh, yeah, website yeah. which i see most of the professionals use but i don't know how much how many students use glassdoor yeah. because you can see the salary comparison the reviews of the companies yeah. and everything yes. all yes. right yeah. Yeah. I'll come to the interview experiences. Huh. Uh, so no, I just want to understand. That it was for one. One, one and a half hour. Half one, hour. One, one and a half hours, and the time was enough. Yeah. Yeah. The time uh, was enough. You all practice aptitude. How did I mean? Because you all practice very. Uh, I mean, not everyone cleared, right? So. Yeah. May no, not. Huh? They were picking the top ten mm -hmm. from yeah. college. All right. Not right. only yeah. the aptitudes, they were asking some DBMS concepts and uh, the networking concepts were also there. The they asked. DBMS can you give me an example? Because a lot of viewers want to know what was asked, you know. Can you be a little specific if you remember? No, no, no we don't no? remember the code snippets. <laughs> but yeah. they were asking about given a code snippet with two for loops it's and we had to write the... All the codes. All right. Right. But, so but viewers, I mean students will understand. Yeah. 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 They will know, I, they will understand suggest, when you're telling this, they'll relate to this. What yeah. I suggest is you huh. can uh, check, uh, check out Hacker Earth and other websites. Huh. You will get those questions. Yeah. You Telling that for you, you were uh, a hacker earth would, uh, would be good, you said. For yeah, this. I referred hacker earth, hacker earth. That was my preference uh, uh -huh. for coding. Hacker or, rank uh, is also good. Uh, yeah, I'm referring you to can, that. Okay. You can refer whichever you are comfortable with. All right. There is no specific. There's thing. no hard and yeah. fast rule. Yeah. Okay, you just uh, side, see which is uh, suiting for you and yeah. start working yeah. on yeah. that. Okay, so for the next one was? And the next one, uh, I mean, the shortlisted students were uh, called for an interview. Yeah. Uh, there are three rounds basically. Before that, we ha also had the pre-placement session. Mm. One thing what I wa I would like to tell is you research about SAP. Mm -hmm. They are going to ask questions, okay. and uh, that will add uh, uh, points to yeah, your, weightage. Yeah. They'll, they'll get impressed on the answers. So did you all yeah. ask questions? Yes. 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 Yeah. Good. Huh. Uh, we had to answer the, uh, questions. They, oh, they asked. asked. Yeah. All right. So what did they ask? Uh, they asked like what do you know about SAP okay. and what are our products. All right. Yeah. And uh, what have you learnt about SAP from whatever you research on? Uh -huh. All right. All those uh, things. Okay. Advanced technologies which they use in yes. their company. So you all thoroughly researched on yes. SAP for Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm, okay, then uh, we had three interviews, two of them were technical mm -hmm. and later we had HR round. Mm -hmm. The first uh, technical interview went on for uh, 20 minutes for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. uh, they asked about uh, OOPS concepts, mm -hmm. then uh, they asked me to write one program mm -hmm. on linked list mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, he asked me to design uh, 
an ER diagram for a big buzz, a mini big buzzer. Mm -hmm. So when I was halfway through, he told it was enough for this round, mm -hmm. and um, I was selected for the next uh, technical round. Mm -hmm. And there he again asked me to tell me about myself and all. Okay. After that. Uh, uh, I told uh, I'm good at logical reasoning, so he asked me two puzzles. All right. Uh, those nine balls problem, mm -hmm. uh, like one is slightly heavier. Uh -huh. uh, you are given a weighing balance. How will you uh, find the exact ball just by weighing two times? All right. Okay. That so was you knew it. You could yeah, do I, it. Yeah, I cracked it, and uh -huh. uh, uh, the second one was slightly higher version of that. Uh, uh -huh. It was like there are ten cigarette packets, uh -huh. each of them having ten cigarettes. Uh, one of those packets uh, has a defective has defective cigarettes. Uh -huh. You are given a spring balance. Using it only once, how will you find the exact one? That was a little difficult, but yeah, I it's got also complicated. Huh? Yeah, that was but but it used some arithmetic progression concepts. I mm -hmm. cleared it. So you learn this in logical all this, or uh, like yeah, how I'm, do you I'm, get it? I'm quite interested in this okay. logic. I put it on my resume also. That's oh, why I asked. Oh, me. that's why yeah. yeah. Uh, then he went uh, like they'll have the papers of uh, previous rounds. Uh -huh. uh, so I had done the half ER diagram of uh, the mini big buzzer. Uh -huh. So he asked me to complete it uh -huh. and uh, convert it into uh -huh. uh, tables and normalize it. Yes. Uh, then later he told this is correct according to your textbook. But he started giving uh, industrial scenarios like uh -huh. uh, in industry I'll fi uh, face this practical problem with your design. So he asked me to modify, he had, uh, asked me to add new tables, remove some uh, existing ones uh -huh. and all that. So it went, that question took about 45 minutes. Uh -huh. and, uh, so pretty lengthy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They, they check in depth in the second technical round. Uh -huh. uh, later, uh, he asked me to write a query. Uh -huh. It was a little complicated. It, it involved five uh, joints, I mean, joining five tables. Uh -huh. uh, and then he came to programming questions again. He asked me two uh, programs, that is, one is to reverse a linked list efficiently uh -huh. and the second one is uh, to count the number of uh, palindromic substrings uh, in a given string. Uh -huh. That was, uh, the, the thing is, we need to do effic right, eff efficient programs, not just uh, any sure. program. All right. Okay. okay. And uh, HR was... Uh, I think we'll come to the HR yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so for me, you? first round ended up to like 20 minutes it was there. Uh -huh. So first you started with my introduction uh -huh. and later he asked me about which programming language you are familiar with. So I told like Python because <laughs> already built-in libraries are there, right? So it is easy to implement something in Python. Uh -huh. So he asked me to write the code to find whether a pa the st string is palindrome or not. I did it. Uh -huh. And he asked me to design... Uh, database table for uh -huh. my project because I didn't know about database when I did my project so uh -huh. he asked oh, anyhow you can write it now right so I designed it and then he asked me about some normalizations uh, about my project uh -huh. so the first round ended up within like 20 minutes and I have got short letters for the second for round. the second round in the second round I had it up to 45 or 50 minutes firstly we, they will be having our previous uh, referred uh -huh. questions and he asked, so anyhow we have done the palindrome problem, so I will give some advanced one. So he told me to find the longest palindrome in uh -huh. a string, so I had to use some for loops and all and I did it. And he told me to design a database table for the placement portal. Uh -huh. So I did that also and he you asked You never me did anything for us. I think that you should do something as a placement portal or something, huh? Yes, that's yeah. what yes. we'll get yes. the I idea think after this there, we'll there itself. Huh? In that platform only we'll get the idea. Right. And he told me, he asked me to write the query for the number of list of the students. So yeah. Which company has taken more number of students. We had to list, print the number of that student. So uh -huh. I did a query for that. Uh -huh. And he asked a Java question, so I was familiar with Java, I told like that. So he to asked like, uh, there will be two lifts and uh, a set of uh, switches for that. Mm. So I had to design a code using classes, objects, interface, any anything. Mm. So it has to work for that. When you press the button which is efficient one, that lift, sh lift should come and like that. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't do that, but uh, my approach for that was good. So he told it's okay. Okay. So basically they're looking at your approach and, approach, and yes. how you're optimizing yeah, yeah. things and whatever you've written in your resume. So nothing yeah. other than the resume. No, no, yes. Because you've written Java, you got Java. Because you had written about logical, if you got logical. If something is written on the resume, you then, must then, know yeah. it. So be thorough with what you have written on the resume. Yes. So for me, first round was around 30 minutes. In first round, uh, she started asking about me. I told my details. Then she asked her, which is your favorite subject? 
I told I know they are working on database and data structures so mm-hmm. I told data structures Yeah but you also knew right I knew it uh, okay. so I told data structures uh-huh. so then she started asking about different sorting techniques mm-hmm. and she told me to write the algorithm for selection sort and explain it I did it then she asked can you write the program for mm-hmm. linked list mm-hmm. so I wrote the program then she in first round she asked something about deadlock OS concepts and it she wound up within 30 minutes mm. so then i went for went for second round it took up to uh, took around 1 hour to complete so initially he asked asked about me again then he asked what are what are, what are the different questions that are asked in the first round mm. so i told linked list was uh, linked list was asked he had the copy of whatever program i had written in first round mm. so he told me you have written linked list again write linked list and uh, do it for merge sort mm. so i knew the concept both and then i started writing my own program it took around 40 minutes he, he will give enough time for you to write that is the thing mm. then whenever you are making mistake he will only not uh, point it out and he will tell you can write it in this way mm-hmm. so those people are very smart no, need not bluff in front of them yeah. they know everything then he asked me one more python i was mentioned python in my resume mm-hmm. so he told me to write a python program to count the number of occurrence of each character in my name and mm-hmm. print the second largest mm-hmm. so that i completed within 2 minutes mm-hmm. then he asked me something uh, then one more concept i told was os asked in first round so again he continued the same thing with asking about semaphores and all then he asked me about my project mm-hmm. i was explaining my project he was simply simply sitting and he was listening throughout the project as if he did not understand anything at the end he suggested me some ideas where i can improvise my okay. project so need not, there also need not bluff about your project also they know everything they will sit yeah, idle yeah. just yes. to show that they don't know yeah. anything yeah. all right so, so any questions one. on projects for the two of you uh, projects uh, only for him they asked okay for, for you all no projects our panels, uh, did not they didn't check on yeah, the projects yeah, yeah. all right and how was the, after that you went for the hr is HR, it yeah hr uh, hr should it, have been uh, basically uh, yeah. it was around 15 minutes uh-huh. firstly 5 minutes they will brief about their company what yeah, they yeah. will do then they will ask some questions like you are in a scenario assume you are uh, you are in, working in a team and you are going with a technical argue with your friend mm. and how do you resolve it then mm. what demotivates you more such questions mm. were asked in HR it all. was more about uh, knowing how well we fit into the work culture and uh, one more thing is that uh, you must ask uh, questions and answer questions in your pre-placement talks yes uh, actually my HR noted me on that all right. and uh, she asked me what made you research so much about SAP huh. And uh, she later asked about, uh, she later briefed about uh, their SAP Scholars pro- program. Yeah. And uh, then she asked some basic questions like, uh, what would uh, you do given all the resources mm. uh, using technology mm. to improve something? So what did you say? Uh, well, I first I told about uh, the education system, mm. like we need to give a hands-on uh, experience uh, to our students wh- when they are in college itself mm-hmm. so that you don't need to train them again mm-hmm. and one more thing i told is about health uh, mm-hmm. sector mm-hmm. where uh, we can reduce all the cost of treatments mm-hmm. using uh, some concept mm-hmm. like de- deep learning and all okay hands on anyway we all have it in yeah, our yes, college yeah. Yeah. yeah and uh, later uh, one there were two hrs actually mm-hmm. it was a two on one round and uh, the one, one more hr asked me about my hobbies uh, I told that I'm uh, very uh, fond of uh, following defense technology and all that. Uh, I analyze the defense uh, policies of India. Oh my, okay. Yeah. Uh So uh, she asked me to analyze uh, something which happened recently. Uh So I talked about uh, application of Article 370, its implications and all. So Mm -hmm. they were really impressed. All right. So you are, so whatever you spoke, you had uh, data to uh, supplement. Yes. Yes. Yes, it that's very, very important. It's very important uh, for us to know whatever yes. we put on the resume. Yes, yes. Yeah. And how was it for you, Ravi? Yeah, they'll mainly look at how we'll handle the stress situations because uh-huh. we need to mo- concentrate more on studies and also in work, right? So yes. they'll mainly look into the stress condition, how we will handle that. All right. Yeah. So any one tip that you would want to give your juniors or viewers who are watching, yeah? Well, uh, you need to know the concepts very well. Huh. Uh, First, you need to build on your basics properly, huh. maintain a good CGPA. Yes. And when, when you're doing that, you must understand and build uh, your CGPA, not just uh, by hurting and Yeah, that something. is understood. Yeah. Yeah. Keep a copy of documents to justify yeah. the same. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you're doing telling data structures, you need some like NPTEL course or something that will help. Yes. Yeah. Because, uh, not a workshop or something, because people no, attend a two day workshop and write it and then no, they no. are request that and then they don't have any answer. Any, uh, NPTEL yes. is good, that yes. is helpful. Yes. Then you can do, mention Udemy courses as well, uh-huh. if you are doing something. 
Okay. Yeah. Anything, Ravi, that you want to add on? Also, mo most of it is summarized. So yeah. I hope this was helpful and uh, it's bye from all of us till we meet again. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>